Removing Reflections with Mocha Pro in Adobe Premiere In this tutorial, I will show you how to quickly remove distracting window reflections from a shot using the Mocha Pro plugin for Adobe from Boris FX. Unwanted objects, shadows, or even reflections of the camera crew can ruin a shot. Fortunately, the Mocha Pro plugin for Adobe includes a powerful object remove workflow that can simplify complex cleanups into a few simple steps. First, we apply the Mocha Pro plugin to our clip on the Premiere timeline and open the effects editor. Hit the Launch Mocha Pro button, and Mocha will automatically open our clip into the user interface. We need to make sure we are working in classic mode to use the Remove module. So if you are set to Essentials, make sure to use the drop-down menu here and select the Classic Workspace. Now that Mocha is open, I need to track the background layer. I select my X-Blind tool and draw a shape around the window. This layer is the background track, and this is how the remove process works. It pulls clean pixels from the background layer and matches the position based on planar tracking. Next, I will draw a shape around the reflection that I want to remove. I want to make sure I hide the edges of my shape for best remove results, so I will align the edges of my shape with the window edges and the edge of this shelf. Then I will link my remove layer to the background using the Link to Track menu here in Layer Properties. And I go ahead and track my background layer. And as a bonus, the remove layer holds the reflection out from my background track because it is in the layer above my background layer. Mocha automatically holds out upper layers from all the layers beneath them. Notice how this second layer now follows the background track as it's linked. I do not have to retrack it. Now I can click on my Remove module, making sure the top layer is selected. I need to create a clean plate to remove this reflection. But happily, there are frames I can use from the shot itself where the reflection is not present. So. I simply scroll through my timeline and I find the desired clean frame and then click the Create Clean Plate button. This saves a freeze frame of my timeline location to be used as a patch for the rest of my shot. You can see the frame in your Clean Plate dialog by selecting the Edit Clean Plates button. Now I can click the Use Clean Plates Exclusively checkbox to make sure that Mocha is only using the Clean Plate frame to replace the reflection. We'll render a quick test with the default settings, and that looks pretty good to me. For more advanced shots, the Remove module also has illumination render options to match lighting and color shifts. If I wanted to match illumination values, I would use illumination modeling, but for this shot, that's not necessary. Since I'm happy with my test render, I can render inside of Mocha and export the file, or simply save and close Mocha. Back in Premiere's Effects Controls, I can select the Render checkbox. Using the drop-down menu, I select the Remove option, and the Mocha Pro plugin will render my reflection remove directly back to my host timeline. Mocha Pro's Remove module will run as a standalone application or as a plugin inside of Adobe, Avid, and OFX hosts like Nuke, Fusion, HitFilm, and Vegas Pro. For more Mocha Pro Remove module training, Visit us at borisfx.com.